based on the rules of evidence and other applicable rules of law, I have found that some of them are appropriate. And so I'm going to ask these questions that I have found that are appropriate now. The first question is, if you had all the components, how long would it take you, in the, you yourself personally, to set up the explosive and incendiary devices in the apartment? Great question. So if I had everything, everything was in, in the department and all the explosives were mixed, because I understand some of it may have been made, it would take multiple hours to put together. You don't just put it together like a Lego set. It's be, and it's very methodical because some things would have to be set up before others. So all it would take multiple hours of focused uh, focus construction to get the design uh, as, the, as the way we found it. The next question is, if no one had gone into the apartment for a few days, could the vapors and or other devices or items have caused an explosion or a fire without someone or something triggering it? The apartment was is like a container. The apartment contained the vapors. And short of an, of an, an ignition source, uh, the, the apartment wouldn't have just spontaneously exploded. The next question is, how small or large would the explosion in the jar have been, in your expert opinion, in feet approximately? The jar wouldn't have exploded. The jar would have burned vigorously. Uh, that's a, an incendiary device because it has a thermite mixture and it's not contained. It's open at the top. So all the gases that would be generated would escape out of, out of the top open area of the jar. The next question is, did the FBI recreate the entire scene in a controlled environment as part of its investigation to understand what would have happened if it had detonated? No, we did not. The next question is, you said that the tripwire was attached to the door jam. If so, why didn't it trip immediately when the door was open? Uh, and you cannot speculate. You can only answer the question uh, if you believe you can do so based on your training and experience, education training and experience. To answer the question from what we observed with the robot, the robot pushed the door open and it, was, it wasn't slammed open. It, it was a slower speed, which in my opinion would cause uh, the coolant maybe to shift or adjust instead of like, like if you yank something, it, it gets pulled. Like more energy would be pulling it. And that uh, didn't happen in this, in this occasion with the robot. The next question is as follows. In your expert opinion, did the, room, did the room full of devices appear to be set up for show or did it seem to be assembled to actually ignite slash explode slash burn? Specifically, you mentioned distractors. Given their presence, is there reason to believe the setup was designed more to intimidate than do harm? Since that's a very complex question, I'm going to answer that in stages. There are three ways to initiate this device. Let's cover the first one and the fact that the question was asked about is this to intimidate versus function. Nothing is random in the components that were designed and appropriated for this device. In my case in point, the quick fuse was used to go from the frying pan to the jar to the, uh, around the room. That was used instead of the hobby fuse because of the speed in which it, it burns. How can we approach? Um, that's okay. Don't speculate. And so the last part of the answer is stricken. Uh, and that means that you must disregard it, okay? So you can talk about, uh, based on your expertise, 
what you observed and what conclusions you drew, but you can't speculate. So the last part of the answer is stricken and the jury will disregard it and treat it as though the jury never heard it. All right, you may proceed. From my examinations, the, the, the data I recovered in my examinations showed that the speed went from the, the quick fuse and they didn't use green fuse in, in that place. Okay. He's talking about his findings. He's not speculating at this point. He's talking about what was used, not the reason why it was or wasn't used or something else wasn't used. Go ahead. So to answer the part of that question, was this to intimidate versus function? The fact that they used the one instead of the other showed the utility of the quick fuse versus the design of using the green fuse. So that was intentional. It wasn't because you couldn't tell from a robot. All right. It's sustained. Um, again, you, that you can't get into whether something was intentional or not. You can talk about what was used. You cannot talk about the reason why it was used or whether it was intentional or, or not. Does that make sense? Certainly. So if you can answer the question based on what was used and what wasn't used, that's okay, but you cannot get into speculating about why something was used or wasn't used or whether something that was used or wasn't used uh, was intentional or not. Does that yes, distinction does. make sense? It does. All right, and so the jury will disregard the last part of the answer. Go ahead. For more examination, the one fuse was used and you could not tell from the robot which type was one from the other from our observations as we're making determinations on how the device is designed. So that eliminates the, the question and answers the question, was this uh, to intimidate or not? By design, it would have functioned as designed. It would have caused explosions. It would have caused dramatic and aggressive burning based on the nature of the material that was used. Okay, thank you. The next question, which is the final question is, as a whole, can you explain in your expert opinion what the setup of the devices you examined on site was designed to accomplish? Again, don't speculate about what, uh, don't speculate, you can only talk about based on your expertise and your observations and your analysis. Does that make sense? It does. All right. So it, the three ways this could have functioned. One was with a frying pan with a hypergolic mixture we discussed earlier in my testimony. If there was a dynamic entry, which would cause the door to open very quickly, the way we're trained as law enforcement. Outside the scope of the question. Sustain. Go ahead. Don't go, I sustained it so you can't go down that road. You can only answer based on um, your expertise in terms of what was used and what wasn't used. The question is, what was the setup designed to accomplish? And so, Answer it in terms of um, specifically. Specifically. Thank you, sir. Specifically. The first setup was designed to accomplish within uh, three seconds of that fire starting. All three of those glass jars should have been fully engaged with an aggressive, uh, aggressive burn that I described earlier as potentially 4,000 degrees with a thermite material each now being energized. Those, that burning would have, would have taken place and that's the first side. From that burning, other fuses would have ignited causing the rest of the material to go as well as the gas vapors in the room that were contained in the room by the, by the apartment itself. The apartment is acting as another type of container. That's the one way it would, it would function. The second way would have been from that small remote that I described in my testimony that was recovered on the table by the plant. If that, if that remote control was activated and it's a line of sight remote where you point it right at the receiver and you functioned it, 
it would have caused that electrical current to run down the lines and influence the hobby fuse that it was attached to. The hobby fuse would start to burn, causing uh, the explosions I described earlier. The third way was from the, uh, the receiver that was rendered safe on top of the refrigerator in the kitchen. This third way, if the, if the receiver received the electronic uh, signal to function, it would be able to fire all of those devices and allow all that hobby fuse to start to burn, uh, and, and which would, once again, everything was cross uh, touching itself on all the different fuses. All of the, all the devices in that apartment would have functioned had that uh, influence happened with that receiver. All right, thank you.